change the title of the stream. Uh, let me go get that up and do that quick. Um, as you guys can see, we're doing Undimension and Unseen. I guess you can't see that yet, but uh, you will once I change the title of the stream. Um, <clears throat> we finally got enough experience for Lily to get her um, stick to the plan, so that's great. Uh, and hopefully we'll get enough experience to start getting her some Cyclopean Hammers. Undimensioned and Unseen... Okay, uh, let's move this to the other window. That way I can follow along if anybody wants to chat. We'll click Build quick. Uh, undimensioned and Unseen. Did I not click Place? Sometimes the buttons get a little uh, finicky. Oh, I didn't check to see how much experience Lily had. If she has 30, she gets the extra discipline. Let me check it right now. Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. We're not at 30. That would be pleasurable. That would be a good thing. Alright, uh, but we have to stick to the plan here, so let's go fishing for our three tactics, which we have put into the deck. We have our two burdens, which is correct. We have the emergency cache. We have prepared for the worst. And we have ever vigilant. So... Uh, this is to get us resources and draw a card, this is to find our weapon, and this is to play a bunch of assets if we have our weapon already. Uh, our trauma is all set up already, so that's good. Uh, we'll do our uh, charisma comes over here, his trauma is set up already. Oh, we didn't do mulligans. Uh, shuffle and shuffle, let's do setup first. Is there a nice setup button? I love when there is. Setup. Okay, oh, we have to also take the Powder of Ibn Gatsi out, because that should not be in our starting deck that starts in play for this mission. Um, oh, where did I put it? I, oh, did I put it in the other deck? Uh, two burdens. No, it's in here. Uh, but I don't see it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that'll go right there. Back to shuffling. Alright, uh, let's come up here. We click the setup button, so most of that's going to be taken care of for us. As we said last time, we'll warn the townsfolk, because it doesn't matter. Uh, we put all the correct locations into play. The number of people that were sacrificed was two. Uh, so since there was two names listed, we're going to put one into play and set three aside. So one goes into Cold Spring Glen. Uh, Alright, so we shuffle these. We kill one, and we put one at Cold Spring Glen, which is down here. Um, so there's different ones this time. Uh, so you'll see here, when gathering, we switch the encounter sets. Uh, we're going to remove the original four Brood of Yogg-Sagoth from the game and replace them with four new ones. Uh, I don't know why there was five. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, we have put the four correctly in that are supposed to be here. I don't know. Oh, because there's... Okay, originally there's five. We take four out and replace them with new ones so that they're not all the same. And then we remove one from the game at random, so we're not supposed to know that. So let's just re-randomize it so that way there's no uh, us having extra information we're not supposed to have. Okay. Um, and then choose these new ones, and then... Yeah, that's fine. It's not hard to understand. Okay. Uh, and then we put the one in, remove the other three from the game. Uh, set the esoteric formulas aside. That's done. Whoever has the uh, Powder of Ibengazi may put it into play. Each investigator gets a madness, injury, or pact weakness and adds it to their deck. That's unfortunate. But we'll have to do that. And then the Powder of Ibengazi comes into play with the three characters, because, um, three, or three clues, because three characters survived. Um, so, that's fine. Um, and then up here we need to pull a clear, random basic weakness. Madness, injury, or pact. That is not one. That is not one. That is not one. Thank goodness. That is not one. Madness and pact, okay. 
That is not one. Injury. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to put these into the decks after. Uh, let's actually, while I'm here looking at the screen, uh, Lily has 1 XP hanging. Uh, the goal is to get to her Cyclopean hammers. Uh, but I'm going to put the leg injury in now for her. And then um, let me save that. And then I'll hop over to Norman and put drawing the sign in. Uh, just because if I don't, I'll forget. I've, I've forgotten a few times about either changed weaknesses or like when you start a campaign. I don't want to uh, have a mistake, especially this far in. Uh, okay. So that's all taken care of. Uh, so now we're ready to do mulligans and begin. We're going to start in Dunwich Village, I'm sure, right, if I remember correctly. Each investigator begins at Dunwich Village. Shuffle the cards to build the encounter deck. Standalone locations, choose a random location. That will be done by shuffling the extra cards, but we can actually just click the Move Broods button and that'll do all that for us. Okay, uh, so then everything is ready to go. Uh, let's switch out to the GM role. Okay, uh, none of these are astronomical. A well, let's keep uh, the research librarian. The other four can go. Because that can go get us our atlas. Uh, one, two, three, four. Per the rules, we're not allowed to have that in our opener. Okay. Of course, it's on the bottom. Okay. Uh, we'll shuffle up the top. Uh, we shouldn't have six resources. We should only have five. I don't know how I clicked that up, but that's fine. Uh, we'll come over here. Shuffle. Draw five. We can't have that, so we'll draw another one. Okay, well, we have our weapon, we have our enchant weapon, and we have our sixth sense. So literally everything that we need is available to us. Uh, we'll mulligan these two to just get better cards. Uh, and we'll mulligan that. Oh, wow. I mean, all right, last time we didn't have all of our stuff. The funny thing is this time um, there's not really going to be any monsters to fight. Maybe we'll draw a couple, but um, there's going to be a lot more... Uh, like, we can't use our weapon on the uh, broods. We have to fight them with our willpower on... Um, oh, speaking of which, we have both of our disciplines active. Okay, uh, so we'll have Lily go first. Uh, let's get our pole down. So this is going to cost us two, four, six. So first we're going to gain a resource. Then we're going to play Ever Vigilant off of Stick to the Plan. And we will spend... Uh, six resources, two for dragon pole, two for six cents, and two for enchant weapon on the pole. Because this reduces the cost of each of them by one. Uh, we can only use one of these per turn, so that's done. Uh, but now our pole is fully operational. We have plus two attack for it, we will get the extra damage, and we can use this to get a third damage, uh, as well as to add our willpower, which is currently four. So basically we'll be plus six to, the, to a check and do three damage. And then we also have this set up so we can get clues. So Lily's doing great. Um, and then with her final action... Oh, we have to put our people here. Ha <laughs> uh, There is a chance that the, uh, the broods could come here. Um, so I think instead what we'll do is move up. We'll try to move away from the brood. And we're trying to get over to the Watley Ruins because we know that's where... Oh, well, we take a damage for being here, which I didn't know, which is inconvenient, but alright. Uh, and then now it is Norman's turn. Norman will spend two resources to drop down a research librarian to search their deck for the astronomical atlas, which is somewhere. There we go. There should be two of them. Why am I not seeing the second one? Right? I'm not crazy. I don't see a second astronomical atlas. Let me check this real quick. Oh, there's supposed to be two. Oh, there it is. I'm just blind. Uh, while I'm making this search, though, I can grab this and gain two resources, so I will. Uh, so then we shuffle. That's fine. Um, and then we spend three resources to play astronomical atlas. Um, we will choose to eat this because we can. 
we don't want to play that yet, so we won't. Uh, so sorry, we played Librarian, we played Atlas. Um, let's investigate the location with Eureka. That gets us to 6 to 2, which is plus 4. Uh, we'll succeed and grab a clue. Uh, so we'll look at our top 3. Uh, we're not going to have the resources to play Milan, so let's grab written in the stars, because that's the one that we want to see the least later. We'll shuffle up. Hey, look, there's Milan anyway. Um, and then we'll shortcut our way out of here. Uh, and we'll also, uh, I guess we can, we can go here. It's a what, a one in six chance? One in, yeah, because if it gets here, it's going to go to either side. So it's just a one, one in six chance. That's fine. Uh, okay. Um, so that's all of our turns. So upkeep. And upkeep. Uh, this goes into play. And now, uh, after you move, resign, or evade, you cannot take any of those type of actions for the remainder of the turn. So moving or evading are going to be singletons. Resigning is only going to happen the one time, right? I don't get exactly why that's on there, but I'm sure there's a reason, right? Uh, so let's make sure we do this right. Uh, at the end of the enemy phase, move each... Yeah, so, and then they're not hunters, so they don't move. Yeah. Okay, uh, so we're going to do move brood. So it's going to try to go to the Devil's Hop Yard, and the fastest way to do that is up here to the Watley Ruins. Alright, uh, so now that that's done, uh, we'll do upkeep. Oh no, we did upkeep already. Yeah, because they... okay. Uh, Doom on the Agenda, and Encounter Cards. I'm fairly confident that we shuffled, but we'll shuffle just in case. Lily is the lead investigator. Uh, at the end of the round, if you stay here, you'll take a horror. So we definitely don't want to be here at the end of the round. And a monster. Uh, it will hunt for the lowest intellect, but currently we drew it, so it's with us. If we used a ranged fire armor spell, it will get minus three fight. Okay. Uh, well, um, Lily can't do too much. Uh, she can move, move to get here, and then uh, engage it to take it away. So that way Norman can do Norman things. Uh, Norman will investigate the location, so we are uh, plus two. There's only one clue here. Uh, so we'll first gain a resource, then we'll spend our resources to play Milan, then we'll investigate plus three, and that's fine. We'll put this here, and then we'll commit it so that we draw. Actually, we'll commit this so that we draw. Yeah. So this goes to our hand, and we get one clue, uh, and then because we succeeded, we gain a resource, and then we're just going to switch these two because um, Milan readies and the research librarian doesn't. So, uh, if it's on top of another card, it won't ready. It's just a quirk of the program. Uh, so anyway, we'll go to the monster phase. Here we'll get attacked, so Lily will take one and one, and we'll go to upkeep. Alright, uh, then we're going to move the broods. Uh, he wants to go to the Dunwich Village. Now, there are two legal paths that we'll get there in the same amount of time, so we get to choose. So we're going to choose to go down to the Cold Spring Glen instead of through the investigators. Uh, you'll see here, it doesn't say that we have to put them through us. Uh, we get to choose. So, uh, depending on how you want to play, some people always choose the worst possible route. That's... Uh, it's a, a riff on the Grim Rule. I think um, this is part of the Golden Rule, where if it's not explicit, you get to choose. Um, and the, the Grim Rule is, um, like, if it's a tie, or, I forget exactly how it's worded, but basically it's, a, you take the worst outcome. Uh, so within this I'm pretty confident the Golden Rule applies. So we're going to move it down. Uh, we are here, so then we're ready to put a Doom on the agenda and draw another encounter card. Oh, and this goes away at the end of the round, if I remember correctly. When the agenda advances, never mind. Okay. Uh, so another monster. This one's aloof and just stays here, but it does reduce our, uh, skill checks. Uh, okay. Well, we can't stop it, so it'll just be here. Alright, uh, so we're going to have Lily go. Lily's going to start by using her pole. As we discussed, we can do a whole bunch of extra stuff with it, so we will. Um, so this is going to add our willpower to the uh, fight, uh, or to our combat. So 4 plus 4 is 8. We have two spell slots covered, so we're 10 to 5, which is plus 5. 
Uh, and we auto fail, of course. Uh, so then we will fight again. Uh, this time for 6 to 5 is plus 1. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is. All right. Uh, plus 1 it is. Hey. Uh, and I guess we... We run it back at plus two. What's the bag? Let's. I really don't want to throw that, and I can't. Um, sure. Let's go plus three. We can't afford to miss. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we needed it, so that's good. Uh, that's all three actions. One, two, three. Uh, we'll come over here. Uh, we'll deal two damage to our. So oh, whoops. We don't put that to our discard pile. Uh, we will deal two damage to ourself to get rid of this, because Lily's pretty hurt. Um, we're going to move into the Watley Ruins as our second action. Uh, we have two clues. We need four. Uh, we get minus one willpower while we're here. Um, but we have a bunch of clues, so let's try to get some clues. Um... So let's play, or let's start by eating Eureka. Then we're going to play uh, Practice Makes Perfect. Does this work the way I want it to? It does. Great. And there is Deduction. Uh, <laughs> I love you, game. Uh, so we're committing Deduction, so we're 7 to 2, which is plus 5. Um, we don't need the Eureka in our hand, and it won't work because of this, but we will take this, so uh, we'll do that. Uh, actually, we don't need this either right now. We're fine. We'll just be plus, plus five. Uh, we succeed, so we'll get both clues. Uh, and that's enough for us to advance, so we will. Uh, and since Norman's here, he can advance. He doesn't have to wait. Uh, and then since the agenda advances, we discard Sorted and Silent. Uh, check the campaign log. He did survive, so we each get a copy of uh, Esoteric Formula, which is over here. Uh, and that's basically going to enable us to attack the broods. The good news is that it uses willpower, so Norman can actually help quite a bit here. Uh, but it's only usable on the abominations. Okay, and then we have to defeat as many as we can. If there's none in play or set aside, we're allowed to advance. All right, uh, so that's all of our actions, because uh, this is from the Investigate. So then we'll do the monster phase. He won't hunt. He stays, so we do upkeep. This blocks our draw correctly. Upkeep. Uh, okay. Uh, we need cards in our hand, so we will... Uh, but we need to heal, actually, so never mind. We can get stuff cards in our hand this way, but we need to heal because we need to get rid of this and other stuff. Let's move the brood. So we need to click this. Okay, uh, so it needs to go to Blasted Heath. The fastest path is through Dunwich Village, so it'll go this way. Uh, we'll put a Doom on the agenda, and Encounter Cards. Uh, okay, well, he needs to move towards Lily, so he will. And this has Surge, so it'll go again. Okay, well, we're just racking up Whippoorwills. All right, if there are no Abominations in play, it gains Surge. There is one in play. Heal it to full and attach this to it. Whenever you enter their location, you take a horror. All right, let's read here. All right, so what we're going to do is place... We're going to use this fast ability to place a clue from the token bank onto this enemy. Uh, right here. Okay. Uh, so now it has six combat. Uh... Or six, yes, all six combat, yeah. So we use a uh, willpower, so we have six as well. Um, so yeah, we're going to have Norman go first, actually. Whoops. Or no, Lily goes, I'm sorry. She has the uh, the formula, right? Yeah. All right, so this gets us to, to eight. This gets us to ten. Right, that gets us plus six. Yes. And then it gets plus two investigator health, and it cannot be damaged except by using formula. So yeah, we're going to just use the formula. We're plus four. Uh, so we hit, we hit, we hit. Uh, let me just make sure that rogue is a hit. It is not. It's, oh, well, it's just reveal another token, so that's fine. Hey, that's perfect, and it gets us back our discipline, so that's really good. Uh, so that's all three actions for 
Um, we'll, oh, actually, we had to put one more clue because of the two whippoorwills, and I would have done that. I don't want to forget them. Uh, so that will put this into the victory display. Let's throw it here to clean the clues off. Uh, and then this gets discarded as well. Um, okay. Well, that's convenient. We got the first guy done. Um, so now we have a little bit of time to, honestly, set up, but to recover from the uh, open that we had. Um, that was all three of Lily's actions, so now it's um, Norman's turn. Norman's going to get rid of this, because that's not very good. We're going to eat that with the Atlas. Uh, so we only have one action remaining, so we definitely don't want to jam that. Oh, we forgot to use Milan last turn, but that's okay. Uh, so we're just going to investigate this location. Uh, we are plus four, and that's fine. Uh, let's run Eureka, because we don't want to draw that deduction. We want to leave it on top for the future. Um... So we're plus five. Uh, that'll be a success. I meant to bring this down and I didn't. Uh, but yeah, there's zero in play, so that's a success. Uh, so we check the top three. Uh, we will take Divination, which is a new card. Um, and then we'll uh, flip the deck over. Interesting. Why did it show me a two a second ago? I don't. Oh, because it was the extra two cards. I got it. All right. Uh, so the divination uh, is what we got from the Eureka. We also get the clue, and then because we successfully investigated, we get to use Milan, which, again, I, I'm pretty confident that I forgot last turn. Uh, but we clicked over weakness and did the investigate, so that's our whole turn. So from there, we'll go to upkeep. That's also... I mean, we knew that we were going to get that. That's right. Uh, upkeep. That's good for the future. Uh, Doom on the agenda, and encounter card. Uh, monster spawns furthest from Lily. Uh, so every okay, so these two are both legal. So let's spawn it away from Norman. So we'll put it over here. Uh, put idle hands in your threat area. You can take two damage and discard it to take an additional action, or take a horror at the end of your turn. So we'll probably just use that extra action right away. Uh, we don't really want to uh, get beat up too much by it. All right. Um, well, let's uh, let's do more setup. Uh, we're going to investigate this location, so let's do that. Um, that's a success, so we'll grab our clue. Uh, we'll get our resource from Milan. We're going to spend three to play Divination. Let's go over how that works. So it comes in with six charges, because this is the full level four version. Um, you may use your willpower instead of your intellect. Now, or, yeah, obviously we're not going to do that, but we could. Uh, if we succeed, we can spend a number of charges, and instead of getting one clue, we can get one clue at our location for each charge spent. So we can choose up to three clues from one location. Uh, so basically, it's just a really good way to uh, hoover up a lot of clues at once. And on top of that, it also will allow us to um, get plus two skills. So sometimes that's important. Uh, so we get uh, two, or that was two actions, right? One for the investigate, one to play this. Um, we're going to take two damage to get rid of this, so one of that's going to go to our research librarian, and one will go to us. Uh, so we get an extra action this turn. So the way I'm going to signify that is just flip this one back. So we have two more actions. Uh, we're going to eat our deduction, because that's good. Okay, by a rule, whenever we see uh, a weakness, we must take it. And then we're just going to use our two actions to click it out. Um, and that's going to be the end of our turn. Uh, so Lily's here, she'll engage a Whippoorwill, uh, and she'll fight it, she'll kill it. Uh, we did not use our um, our discipline, um, but that's okay. And then we will play another Beat Cop, and we will uh, use his ability. Oh, actually, we could just do that instead. Um, yeah, whatever, I did both. Uh, it probably would have been smarter for me to use the discipline. Uh, I wouldn't get the roll anyway because I wouldn't be attacking. But I could just play beat cop, um, use the discipline, and be done. Like, and then do something else with another action, like move. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, so we did this. We killed um, both whippoorwills, which is good, and we are ready to go to uh, monster phase. Uh, he's a hunter. Uh, he's gonna. Uh, look for the lowest agility, um, that would be Norman, so he's going to go to the right, um, and then we go to upkeep, okay, and upkeep, uh, doom on the agenda is five, so that advances us, uh, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck, so we can see all of our friends in a little while, 
uh, and then spawn a brood of Yog Sagoth at a random location. Okay, so what we're going to do is just hit uh, move brood, and that should give us a random location. Oh, it did not, because there's none in place. So we're just going to shuffle this and put it there. Okay, the Devil's Hop Yard, and then we take it from this pile of brutes. So it goes up here. Which one is this one? So it's got six health, and it must be down for the Esoteric Formula, and as you can see, it has low agility. So the idea here is going to be to um, reduce its... Uh, like evade it and then fight it. Um, okay. And then reset the agenda. This stays the same. Uh, and we do encounter cards. Alright, uh, so this blanks our ally, so we lose a combat. And then we can test willpower to get rid of it. That's fine. Um, and then over here, we just get a whip of will and stick it down. Alright, that's fine. Alright, uh, so we're going to have Norman go first. We want to get away from the brood. He's a problem, and we can't really do too much about it. So, or rather, we're going to get away from the Lupine Thrall. Uh, we're going to want to go down here to see if we can get some additional ways to hurt the bad guys. Uh, so this is going to drop the Evade down to 1, and then we can move them around. Uh, so the problem here is going to still be hitting that guy, because he has a really high combat score, and we don't have clues to put on him. Uh, we, okay, so these two locations are going to give us the ability to put clues on things. Uh, we're going to have to figure that out. There's no clues here, which is interesting. That's not normally the case. Uh, so let's, um, spend two resources to play Research Librarian and go get our Leave Ray, because we really want that. Uh, and then that shuffles our deck. Okay. Um, and then we will gain a resource for the next turn. Um, Lily could move in there, but the Lupine Thrall is going to come, the Whippoorwill is going to come to us. I think it's better to just wait here. There's no penalty for waiting here. This is once per game, right? Yep. Okay. Um, so let's do this. Uh, we're going to take one horror and heal three damage. Uh, which is going to click off our leg injury so we can move more. Oh, did I? No, I didn't have that one. I moved twice, I don't think. Uh, so we'll take that off with using this. Uh, from there, uh, we could potentially play Delve Too Deep. In fact, yeah, let's do it. Let's Delve Deeply. Uh, so we'll draw an encounter card. Um, huh. Let's spawn a random Yogg Sagoth. Of course. Okay. Well, we greeted and we got punished. And a whippoorwill. Uh, that also goes down there. That's fine. Uh, this will go to the display. All right. Um, well, we can't do anything good by going down there, because he's massive and we only have one action. So we're not going to be able to evade him. So this turn, that's not going to help. So we will do nothing. And we will draw... Let's play Emergency Cash to draw three... or get three resources and draw a card. Uh, at the end of the turn, we'll make this test. Uh, we actually lost a willpower, so we're at plus two now. We will succeed and get this back. That's a great thing for us. Um, okay, well, some of that was good. This is going to hurt. Uh, so the research librarian will soak the two, and then I'll take the other one. Um, doom on the agenda. Oh, sorry, we have to move the broods. Uh, sorry, I have to move everybody. So this whippoorwill will come to Lily, because it can go to either. The thrall has to go down. And then we'll move the Brutes. So this one wants to go here, and that one wants to go there. Um, it is currently uh, in not engaged, so it moves again. Uh, so the best way to do that, I think, is to just click Move Brutes, and we'll just follow that. Uh, so this one doesn't move, but this one does, and it goes to Lily. All right. Um, from there, uh, we doing. Did we do doom on the agenda? 
Uh, I think I did. Let me think. Uh, we flipped and put that one in. Then we. Oh, let me just click enter. Maybe will that tell me? This is them moving. This is me. Hmm. Yeah, we did because the, you can see here that they only moved the one time. Uh, the guys and they would have moved. Yeah, I set the doom to the agenda, then I moved them, and he would have moved when, um, when he was spawned. So I've already put doom on the agenda. So we're just setting counter cards now. Okay. Well, who needs a beat cop? Uh, one of the broods gets plus one fight and plus one health. Um, I guess we'll pick this one. So now it's got four health. All right. Uh, well, we can't use our B cop to kill the whipper wheel, which was the original plan. Uh, oh, we did get our willpower back. Um, so we're minus three to fight off the rip. We can go to minus one, but that's not really helping. Um, we could try to evade, but we're minus one on that score as well. So nothing's doing great for us. Um, this is not good. All right, so let's... Oh, actually, well... What are the penalties for failure? Testing minus two doesn't make any sense. That's not going to work. All right. Uh, let's have Norman go first. Uh, Norman will move up to... Oh, no. Dumbwich Village doesn't help. And that won't help either. Ugh. Um, all right, uh, things are not looking great. Things are not looking great. We can get a resource and go punch the thrall so it doesn't kill Lily. But this guy's going to hurt us. It'll just kill Milan. We're not super excited about that, but it's better than dying. Sure, so let's... Oh, I didn't click upkeep, so we should have done that. Okay, so now we don't need to get click a resource because we can get it. All right, okay. What if we play blur instead? Blur gives us extra actions that we can use to evade. We can evade at a plus two skill value. So if we evade with our agility at six, we'll be evading... 6 to 4 is plus 2. We can go plus 3. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's play our blur for one less. Uh, let's eat our guts. That's probably the best thing we could have seen off the top. Uh, we're going to move up to help Lily, actually, instead of what we did. Uh, this guy is massive, so we'll stay there, but we're going to evade him with blur. Uh, we're going to commit the guts, uh, so that gets us to 6. Um, so that's 6 to 4, because this doesn't give evade. Uh, and then we'll also do that to get to 7, and we get plus 2, so we're actually 9, so we're plus 5. Uh, we're going to succeed, so we're going to heal a horror from Fearless. Uh, we're going to put Guts in our hand and draw a card from Guts, and then using our Atlas, we're going to spend two charges with the Blur to get all of our actions back. Uh, and then I guess we're going to try to fight this guy. Um, so, uh, how do we do that? Um, we can set that up for the future. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have to set up for the future. Let's put Livre on top. Uh, or play Livre, so that's action one. We've got two actions remaining. Um, what I want to do is written in the stars on Guts, right? 
Um, I think that's the best application that I can get. So that'll give us three attacks with plus two. Um, so then what I want to do now is uh, let's engage the Whippoorwill and fight it with I've got a... Oh, I don't have resources. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I've got two actions remaining. Um, we can't put any more clues on this guy. He is... Ex oh, you know what? We could just run away. Let's run away. Uh, one, two. We'll move up to the blasted... We know that that's bad. So we'll move here and we'll investigate. That'll get us a resource. Okay. Uh, we succeed. Uh, we can commit deduction to that actually as well, so we will. Because um, we don't need to keep deductions. There's not a lot of clues in this in this one that we can get. Alright, uh, so now Lily can go and she's going to move away so she doesn't get beat up. Uh, she can do 6 with this. She'd be 6 to 6, so that's even. That's not very good. Uh, she can't use the beat cop because of the way the game works, so let's just engage a whippoorwill and fight it and then uh, move away. Yep. Um, so that dies, and then engage whippoorwill, fight it, and move away. Did she not do upkeep either? She did not. Okay. Oh, well, that's convenient. Alright, so that's our three actions. Now we have to make this test. Uh, we are plus one... Um, I don't care about the beat cop. I mean, I'd like it back, but... Yeah, see? The game will just tell me I'm fine. Uh, we don't have any uh, broken disciplines, so we don't get them back, but we do get an extra combat. Uh, then we go to the monster phase. This whip will hunts. This guy hunts. Uh, now the we'll go to the upkeep, where he'll ready, and then end of round is when uh, these guys move. Oh, no, they move at the end of the enemy phase. Uh, okay, interesting. Uh, so he was exhausted, so he will not move. Um, and then we move broods. So he'll stay, and he'll move up to the hop yard. All right. Um, so then we'll go to upkeep, and upkeep, uh, doom on the agenda, and encounter cards. Oh my goodness. Whipper Will City. Oh, I don't know why I pulled any token. That's silly. Uh, if you have no clues, uh, we do have clues, so we have to test this. We test the maximum for the clues. Either take hard or drop the clues. Well, we're plus two, so we're happy with that. Or let's make sure. Yeah, we're plus two. Uh, let's go plus four. I like to not be failing. Oh, not. Uh, yeah, we'll commit this. Uh, so we're plus four, so we succeed. Uh, so we draw a card from perception. Okay. Um, it's our turn. We will have, uh, Norman go first. We'll play shortcut to move, Ooh, Lily doesn't get to come, uh, to move up and then we'll move into the hop yard. We can put two clues onto this guy. Yeah, he's got a ton of hit points. So that's fine. We are going to use the ability to put the two clues on him. Um... We're then going to attempt to blur, to evade... Oh, okay. Uh, we want to use our Livre to put Guts on top, swapping it like that. Uh, we're going to try to evade with blur. Uh, we're going to play Written in the Stars, so we discard the top card of our deck and commit it to the test, and it'll be committed to every test this turn. Uh, so this is Evasion Test 1. Uh, and we are using this with plus two skill. So we're going to have eight, and I believe his evasion is two. That's correct. So we're plus six. Uh, we succeed. We're going to draw a card from Guts. Okay. Uh, and he'll be evaded. Uh, now, because we use Blur, we can remove two charges to get two extra actions. So we're going to get all four of these actions in which we can commit Guts to the test. Um, and we're going to fight. Uh, so this guy has six fight. Uh, we get four plus four from the clues is eight, plus two from the guts is ten. So we're plus four, and so we're gonna fight four times. Uh, success, we draw a card. 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 So we draw four cards. One, two, three. Uh, when we see that card, we play uh, foresight and name it to block it. Um, 
and it gets discarded instead. Um, so that's how foresight works. We can uh, basically whenever we see a card, we can react and name it because we we see it because we're Norman, um, and we can prevent us from drawing it. Uh, so that's good. Um, this will get discarded. This will go to the discard pile. We will take the damage tokens and put a four onto our friend here. Uh, he does have six life, so he'll be around. Uh, we did get rid of our other enemy, so let's use our beat cop to knock out a whippoorwill. Uh, we're always happy to draw whippoorwills from the encounter deck, so killing them again is not bad. Uh, we'll move one, two, and then Lily will also attempt to fight. Uh, Lily is... Uh, six, so she's plus two. She will commit her guts to be plus four. Uh, she will succeed and do a fifth damage. Uh, unfortunately, like we said, it gets six, so we're going to have to deal another one, but that's a future us problem. All right, uh, from there we go to the monster phase. The whippoorwill will hunt. The lupine thrall will hunt. Uh, he should have readied, so he will move now. He is not moving, because he is not readied. So we will move the broods. Well, he was staying anyway. Uh, and that one will move down. Which is convenient, because that reduces the evasion. So that's good. Um, alright. Uh, so from there, we do upkeep. Uh, we take a horror, which Milan will take. Uh, there's no way for us to draw this in between, so we can't, and we need to discard down three cards. Uh, I don't think we're going to need this, unfortunately. We definitely don't need this. Um, and we're not going to be able to play that, because we don't have an extra slot. So that's the three. Uh, Lily gets her upkeep. That's fine. Doom on the agenda. This monster readies. And encounter cards. Uh, we are at the same location. Uh, each investigator must now test agility. For each point they fail by, they take a damage. So we're testing even, and there is nothing that we can do about it. Um, oh, we flipped this over. Uh, we could draw that, but we're just not going to. It doesn't make sense. Oh, wait, we have Ward 2, right? Yeah, we're going to play that. Uh, we're going to play Ward of Protection 2 to, to block it. Okay. And then spawn another one or take two horror. Um, I think we're a little overrun right now. I want to take two horror and block it. I don't want to take it again. Uh, all right. Uh, so let's have uh, Norman go first. And Norman will fight this bad guy. Uh, we are plus two. We will uh, swap guts to the top of our deck. We will consume Guts with Atlas, and then we will commit Guts to a plus four attack. We succeed, so we draw a card and the Guts to our hand, and then this guy dies. Okay, uh, that's action one. Action two, uh, we'll investigate with Divination. Uh, we'll go plus eight, uh, so we're plus infinity. And we'll take all the clues and draw a card. I think there was only two clues, so we have to just spend two charges. Correct. Okay. Uh, that stinks for us. Um, yeah, there's no reason to move. Moving's not going to help. Uh, we don't want to engage the guy down there in case bad things happen. Uh, we didn't do excess damage with our unspeakable oath, which is fine. Um, oh, we could commit enraptured, so we get a token back, and we'll definitely do that. Uh, so let's get a token onto the blur. We should have done that earlier as well. Um, hmm. Anything else that we need to do? We could shortcut. What does shortcutting do for us? Nothing. Um... Right, because getting over here doesn't help. We can get in there next turn, maybe, get these clues. Kill yeah, we'll see. Um, I don't think clues matter anymore, because there's no way to dump them, right? There's nothing that puts them onto the location. This is once per game, and that's once per game. Nothing here puts clues on, nothing here puts clues on. Yeah, we, we got a pretty rough pull of uh, the locations. The random ones do different things. Um... All right, so we have one action left. We're just going to gain a resource because um, we don't want to do anything this turn. It's now going to be Lily's turn. Lily will move down, getting engaged with the Thrall. 
We will attack. We are plus infinity. We succeed and deal three damage. One from the pole, one from the enchant weapon, and one from the base attack. Um, I think it's in our best interest to play this, because we're going to need to make more uh, willpower checks. So the more often we can do that, the better. Uh, and the higher we are, the better. Uh, we can't, unfortunately, use... Uh, actually, what does this say? No, it's got to be a weapon asset, and this is a spell, right? Yeah. Would be nice, right? All right, so it's monster phase. Let's hope that they don't pull one of these two. Actually, it's the end of the monster phase, so it doesn't matter. Uh, this guy hunts into Norman, and we'll move the broods. Uh, so yeah, they'll move over this way. And then uh, we are at upkeep for the players. Oh, this should be in my discard pile. I don't know why I've removed it from the game. Yeah, it doesn't get removed from the game. That was, or whatever, yeah, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be over there. Uh, we do have an extra uh, arcane slot, so we can play our talisman, by the way. Um, so we might have to do that as well if we need extra safety. Uh, Doom on the agenda and encounter cards. Okay, we don't want to end our turn here, and when the agenda advances, we discard this, but I don't believe the agenda advances without us winning. So that's going to be there permanently, so it's going to make the Waitley Ruins a hard place to be. Um... Okay, it's also going to make this location a hard place to be. Um, Alright, so we'll have Norman go first. Norman will engage the Whippoorwill. Uh, we'll spend three resources to play. I've got a plan. Um, we'll be using our intellect, so we're plus four. Um, and that's just fine. We don't really need to do anything special. Uh, there's one in play, so we succeed, we deal through, uh, four damage, so it dies, and we did excess hit point damage, so we can discard this. Uh, we'll then shortcut our way down, and then move into the safe spot of Cold Spring Glen. So shortcut, then move, that's all three actions. Uh, so now it's Lily's turn. Uh, Lily will come join Norman with action one. Um... And then, I guess we play Delve too deep here? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, encounter card. That's fine. Encounter card. That will get uh, Ward of Protection. Actually, we'll put it on Milan, because we don't need him anymore. And we have another one to replay. Alright, um, so we moved in, we played Delve, and then we'll punch ourselves for two. Oh no, we t it's, a, it's a... Oh yeah. Uh, we'll take the horror if we fail. We don't want to do that, so we'll just get rid of that, and we'll put this into the display. Okay. Well, we're doing okay. We 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 could have had worse, but we're doing overall okay. Uh, let's move the broods. All right. So he wants to move there, so he's going to move up and over. Now, if only this did damage to them, right? <laughs> uh, we'll go to upkeep. Okay. Uh, so Norman's thing is whenever you draw it, you must immediately play it, so that comes into play. And then it's going to immediately have the effect, which is to reduce our hand down to three. Uh, so we're definitely going to keep these two for the combo that we showed earlier, and we're going to uh, we're going to want to keep uh, this one. So we're going to discard these three, and we won't have Milan, but that's okay. Oh, I forgot to remove the intellect from losing him. Okay, uh, and then upkeep over here we'll do upkeep. That's fine. Uh, Doom on the agenda and encounter cards. Uh, he's going to move towards us. Uh, so we are one, two, three, one, two. This is faster, so he'll come this way. Uh, and then this has surge, so we do it again. Okay, he's going to get even bigger. Okay. Uh, and then idle hands again. So that's getting a little obnoxious, uh, but we can't sit on them because it's going to stack up horror. Unfortunately, it currently kills us, but we can play our research librarian, so we're going to have to do that. Um, all right, this guy's getting out of control. Uh, so now he's seven, and he's got three hit points. Oh, he has to move again. I've been messing that up. Uh, we'll, we'll do it. All right, so he's here. Um, all right, well, we can't afford to just sit forever. Um, 
So I think we just try, right? We have five. Lily's five into seven is minus two. She can get to even. Okay, we're gonna have to play talisman on. Oh, that won't work the way I want it to work. Um. I guess we'll put blur, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll have, let's think about this. If we go to six, we can go, we can also get to seven, which is testing even. Uh, all right, let's have Norman go. Uh, we'll play our research librarian for one and go get a book. Uh, we don't have any books, but we will take our astounding revelation and get two resources. Shuffle. That's not what we want. Uh, let's eat that um, using the atlas. And then let's switch guts with Eureka. Let's move up. Uh, he's massive, so he stays there. Um, we're going to play Written in the Stars on Guts. Um, and so we're going to get... Um, so we moved up as one action. We're going to now use Blur as another action uh, to evade. So we are 8 to 4. We succeed, so we draw a card from the Guts. Um, we can use the Charge off of Blur, which will uh, give us our action back. Um, we'll then take two damage from Idle Hands, putting one on the Research Librarian and one on us to take our other action back, and then we will um, uh, attempt to fight. So we will commit both Eurekas and Written in the Stars, which is three. So that's uh, plus five, so nine, so we're plus two. Nope. Uh, that's a success. So the nope fails, so this gets discarded. Um, so nope, yes, we draw the card. Um, let's go. And then uh, I guess we'll commit this. Yup. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, two. Right, so we got three attacks in, because we got two actions back, one from the blur and one from the idle hands. Okay, and that's a success, so we draw another card. Okay. Uh, we used all our stuff, so we can't get that back, but that's good to see for the future. Um, so now Lily will move up, uh, and she'll try to help. Uh, so this guy uh, is here, so uh, we will... I mean, being six to say, well, sure, we'll test minus one. Well, I think attacking gets really bad. If you fail... Yeah, you get attacked if we hit that. Um... Oh, this is plus two fight. I didn't calculate that. All right, the plus one was still a hit, and the other one was a minus one, and we were plus three. So yeah, it was okay. Um, it doesn't have, oh, it's exhausted anyway. Okay. Um. All right. What do we do? We have two actions remaining for Lily. Uh, this guy has seven, she has five, it's just not enough. We need to commit this Guts that's on top of that deck. Uh, so let's play Talisman of Protection over here, and we'll lose the Blur, because they only have two Arcane slots. Uh, so when we draw through our deck, we'll get that again. Um, that's a fast, though. Uh, let's just draw cards, then. We need to get Icons, right? That's a card. Uh, and then let's do this... 
and uh, we'll take a horror to heal three. All right, we take. Oh, it's direct. Uh, okay, that's fine. We'll still take the horror to heal three because we have this and that to soak the horror. So that's our three. Um, oh, I did that already. Uh, so then we go to the monster phase. At the end of the monster phase, this guy tries to move. And he's staying put. And he will be engaged, so that's fine. Uh, he'll ready in the upkeep. Uh, we'll do upkeep. That's fine-ish. Uh, this is face down, which means we then have to break this, because we're not taking a damage and a horror here. Actually, no. Uh, we don't need that. The car yeah, we have cards. Actually, maybe I should have did that instead of drawing two cards. I could have just drawn up to five. Eh, that's fine. Uh, Doom on the agenda will advance us. Shuffle the discard pile into the encounter deck. Um, if there is a set, of soth set aside brood of yogg -Sagoth, the lead investigator reads the following. Spawn one at your location. If able, then everyone there tests agility. And they will attack people who... Okay. Oh, there's only the one, so... Uh, and it's the standard one, which is better for us. Um, but it's not great because it's going to hurt. Uh, so it's an agility test. Uh, we can do next to nothing about it. And neither can Norman. Uh, so we fail it. Uh, the talisman will save us from dying. And we will take to horror. Uh, we will fail it. Uh, and then, as previously mentioned, we will soak it. Okay, well that's unfortunate for us. Um, but those be the breaks sometimes. Agility is not our best stat. Uh, encounter cards. Okay. Uh, so this is seven. So we are minus three. Well, we'll die if we fail it, so uh, we'll go minus one. Um, plus one. That's the best we can do. Uh, there are now two in play, so we die. Um... All right, uh, and we die to horror, so we get another trauma. Um, well, we have to deal one damage to this guy, so we might as well try. He doesn't have retaliate. Uh, he's gonna hit, we're gonna take what? Four, four and three to get out. So we can soak enough to live there and soak enough to live there. So if we fail, we can still get out. So let's try it. We are plus one vomit. Uh, we fail. Uh, and then we will move out and resign so that we don't die. Uh, we'll take, as we said, four and three, right? So one and one on the beat cop one here, so we'll take two and three. That gets us out. Um, and so since we've resigned, uh, we then uh, end the game, or go over to here. Uh, each investigator resigned, then go to resolution one, record that X brood escaped, so there's two that are gonna escape. Uh, so we're just gonna write over here, two broods escaped. Luckily, we got some uh, Delve Two Deeps in there, huh? Um, we removed the Powder of Ubengazi, that's easy. And then we get to the display, which, as we said, is going to be four. And then tomorrow night, we'll go to Where Doom Awaits. Uh, I hope everyone had... Oh, hey! Hey, you, Jeffo. Uh, yeah, it was... Uh, we pulled some uh, rough stuff. We hit two of these uh, Towering Beasts. So this guy in the Return To has five and goes up to seven. Um, and then uh, we pulled only these two locations with extra clues on them. So we just really couldn't uh, drop clues onto the broods. Uh, yeah, it was rough. And we uh, 
we used all of our powder of Ibengazis because there was two whippoorwills that were in play, and our beat cop was turned into a, uh, a a useless asset by the cemetery, so we couldn't even kill a kill it. So we had to guarantee the bag. It was just a, a rough set of pulls. This is not a great weakness for Norman either. Uh, this is the random madness that we pulled from the start of the mission. So it was a rough, rough series of pulls. I think I misplayed a little bit on Lily's disciplines. I could have used them a little better, but I don't think it would have changed the outcome. Maybe we make this success. The uh, the, the all-star of the day was doing um, Guts and uh, Written in the Stars. I think I got... I drew like six or seven cards off of it, maybe eight, and I got, um, you know, I got to pass my blur check, I got to pass the powder checks to do that, or the formula checks, so it was pretty solid. But uh, the good news is we got four uh, victory, and Lily was hanging onto one, so she's going to have a Cyclopean Hammer in her deck um, for the next one, and it also means that uh, if we get five XP and wear Duma Weights, we'll have both hammers for Lost in Time and Space. So she'll be all done, and uh, I'm pretty much doing like quality of life stuff in Norman right now. He's pretty built. So all things considered, our decks are okay. We should we should be getting the proper resolution, and uh, we restored Silas Bishop in Blood on Blood and Altar. So uh, where Doom awaits is going to be a lot easier because we restored him. So um, yeah, that'll be tomorrow night. So I hope everyone enjoys. Uh, I kind of told you what I'm going to do with the XP, so we'll see it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed tonight. Thanks.